This might look slightly familiar, but not. See, this is a 1999 Corolla. And this is also 1999. But it's got the 2000 liter engine in it. You can tell by a slightly different valve cover gasket top and the idiot hood's very different. Car problems got your head in the sand? Be triumphant. You have a champion to help you. Huzzah! Welcome to the D.E. Nichols channel. Autobottom.com Though you couldn't tell since I keep mine off because it's silly and extra heat. And he has his idiot hood only covers this spot. That's it. Just goes over the injectors. So his injectors a little look a little bit different. But 2000 into 2002 is what my engine type is because it's got the adjustable VVTI. Just keep your peepers on that and think about what you saw there for a second. And walk over past the vacuum tube turntable stereo, and you see the difference between VVTI and not. With VVTI, this is adjustable by that valve pressure that I was just recording and, and removing, which I broke on my car, and it adjusts intake to being earlier or not, which helps keep the exhausts in on the efficient side. Okay, When it's in faster mode, it actually runs less advanced because otherwise you'd be create detonation coming past the vacuum stereo back to 1999. That's what would be stock on mine. I still have mine. It just has a can and air filter instead. And this engine is extremely similar. The only difference is up top, you'll notice when you look into here, this is going to have quite a good oil change interval in its past, but I'm fixing this for a brother in the church and he, he replaced the engine. Still a good engine. No harm. Just wasn't changed as often as it should be. But he changes it regularly. He's got full synthetic in. He's driven it for quite some time. It still looks clean. He's barely used any oil. This is a good car. Uh, and if you notice, instead of that big old block, it's very simple and clean and small. And it just continually runs the exact same timing. Well, you got timing advance on the electrical side when spark goes off. But when the actual event of the physical valve opening and closing, opening and closing, that's the timing that changes. Well, today, he needs a radiator. That's what we have here. And he asked me to check a spark plug. And his spark plugs, while showing a good running engine, are looking very... See if we can focus in on that. Looking very worn, very white and they're chewed down and you probably immediately notice the valve cover gasket was leaking because these sills these sills are on the spark plug tubes one two three four and they don't just seal the valve cover that part wasn't leaking they seal the four rings right on top here to keep those from getting wet with oil and preventing misfires so we started with doing a radiator. We saw the coolant flow was really nice. I had 79 degrees on the top and 77 degrees on the bottom radiator hose here, where my finger's pointing. So we know the water pump was flowing, but we saw some coolant coming out of there. So I'm not going to cover the individual baby steps. Obviously, we can change the air filter. That's super easy. I've shown already how to take this. He's got new spark plugs. I didn't go over the gapping procedure. I've been dying to do that. They say on your iridium plugs to not gap them. And this is where I steered him slightly wrong. On the Generation 8 2000 and later engine, they recommend iridium plugs. Iridium plugs, and they say Denzel's what's original on the engine. But I thought, you know what? I remember putting in Platinum's forever, because that's just was my habit from being old school. Until one day, I saw on the side of my engine that said Iridium. And I'm sorry I have too much light. You may not be able to see it. But they suggest twin ground electrode plugs. That's what came with it. I was like, oh my gosh, twin ground? I hate those. Well, I know this engine will respond fine to these, but I'm very surprised to see this sticker that it's supposed to be uh, double plong where it comes at it on from the size, like a Bosch 2, instead of the standard plug that everyone knows and loves. But 
just to take you through the concept briefly, all these parts we've installed today, I can't believe it. Just while he bought the rest of it, I put in the radiator. I feel pretty, I feel really good about that. I just had a couple of bolts left. But what I do is I measure the four spark plugs, the ohms of resistance across its core. Remember to get out there to work on something. You might just find the company to be rewarding. <laughs>